This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to be demonstrating a type of destructive attack that I've not shown on this channel before. The lock we're going to be using for the demonstration is this American Series 700 padlock. Now in past videos, I have mentioned that I like these Series 700 locks. We have a nice beefy solid steel lock body, an 11 millimeter hardened steel shackle, a ball bearing locking mechanism, and a core that is chock full of security pins. We have serrated key pins and driver pins that are a combination of serrated and serrated spools. So it's a nice little package, but if I did have to choose a weak point, it would be the core retention mechanism. The core is retained by this steel plate you see on the bottom, and that plate is held in place by a small tab that goes into the lock body on the left and this nut on the right. If we look at that nut outside of the lock body, you can see that it has a dome top to it, which should make a drill bit slide off to either side. And it's also very well hardened, which means a drill bit will have a tough time getting purchase on it. However, if you look at the other side, you're going to be a little bit less impressed. We have a pretty flimsy little screw back here. It's not hardened or tempered. And frankly, I don't think it was ever designed to deal with much in the way of a brute force attack. So that is going to be the subject of our attack today. The way I'm going to attack it is by exerting a pulling force on this bottom plate. Now I've tried that in the past with a slide hammer. I've put a screw right down the keyway, attached a slide hammer, and tried to compromise this retention mechanism. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, the only thing I managed to do was break off the screws that I put into the keyway, making the lock inoperable. We're going to be trying something a little bit different today. I think it was the impact force that was breaking those screws, so I have another tool that will apply just as much or more force to this bottom plate, but will not have the impact. And that tool is one that you've not seen before on this channel, a core puller. It's a relatively simple tool. We have a steel tube. In that tube is a block that has a portion machined out to hold a screw or a nut. On the back of that block is a heavy duty threaded steel rod that's capped off by this nut. And underneath the nut, we have a thrust bearing that keeps everything operating smoothly. The idea is that when you tighten this nut down, this block will retract into the tube, pull the screw with it, and hopefully anything attached to the screw. So what we're going to try is putting a screw right into the keyway of this American Lock Series 700 padlock. The screw we're going to be using is this Tapcon concrete anchor, which tend to be much stronger than a normal screw of its size. Then we're going to attach the core puller and see if we can compromise that retention mechanism. So let's take all of this down to the garage and see what happens. Okay, we're out in the garage. I've got the lock in the vise and I'm going to put this screw in. I'm gonna try doing it by hand because I've actually had some bad luck in the past trying to put these in with an impact driver because they will snap off. It's not easy to put in, but I am able to get it in pretty well. Okay, I think that should probably be enough. I don't want to risk breaking it off. So let's get our puller. I'm going to put it right around that screw and then hand tighten it to the point where it engages with that screw head. Okay, there we are and it looks like you have a better view of that core than I do. So let's get the ratchet and tighten it down a little more. Looks like we broke the security nut. I'm not feeling much more resistance here. 
Okay, there we go. It pulled right out. So let me get something to turn that core now. Let's see, that should do the trick. Hmm, it's not turning. Let me blow some of that dust out. Hmm, I'm not sure why that's not turning. Maybe because this is in the vise. Let's actually just knock that, that out. There we go. Now the lock's open. Okay, so let's get this, the remains of the core retention plate. You can see that we broke the core retention plate right at its weak points. And you can also see that we broke that screw right off in the security knot. So this has been the first appearance of the core puller here on this channel. Hopefully there'll be more of it in the future. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.